Germany often gets bashed for its high taxes. However, what people neglect to talk about is that you actually only pay 42% of income tax when your income is higher than half a million euros per year. Actually, 600,000 to be exact. Whoa, 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 wait. So I'm not paying 42% of taxes in Germany? Depends on your income, but if you're below half a million, not really. Let's explain in this video why. Before this episode starts, we have a small favor to ask from you. Our goal for this year is to reach 50,000 YouTube subscribers. If you've ever liked any of our videos, if you like this channel, then please hit that subscribe button that's down here at the bottom. The bigger the channel, the bigger the reach, and the more internationals can benefit from our content to settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. Thank you very much and enjoy this episode. To keep this video simple and as easy to understand, we will follow an example based on John. We will not talk about solidarity tax, we will not talk about church tax, and John will not have any other income other than his salary. Okay, so that means any other income means any other sort of investment or... Capital gains or okay. rental income from properties or okay. anything else. Okay. Now the basis for all the income numbers given in this video is taxable income. Taxable income is not the same as gross annual salary or income per se. To explain how taxable income is actually calculated, in German it is called zu versteuern des Einkommen, is out of the scope of this video. What you need to know and understand is that your taxable income usually is lower than your gross salary. Let's start with John's example to clarify this. In 2023, John is earning 85,900 euros gross a year in salary. When using the gross net salary calculator from Arbeit Now, it shows that John's income of or salary of 85,900 euros turns out to be a taxable income of 74,992 euros. We will continue our example for simplicity reasons with 75,000 euros. Now, when looking at income tax rates, there's two numbers that are set by the government and that increase every year. One of those numbers is 62,810 euros in 2023 that is set by the government from which the income tax rate of 42% starts. Okay, however, I learned at the beginning of the video that that 42% only gets applied if I earn more than 600,000 euros. That is correct. However, here we need to differentiate, and this is where most of the confusion actually derives from. Okay. We need to differentiate between the income tax rate and the actual tax rate that you're paying. Okay, I'm interested, okay. Because a lot of people, just like you just mentioned, think that the moment you earn more than those 62,810 euros, all of your income gets taxed at 42%. And that is wrong. Ah, okay. So how much do I, how much does John pay then? So John, with his taxable income of 75,000 euros, actually only pays 28.7% of income tax. Wow, okay, that is a big difference between 42% and 28.7. Okay, let's round it up to 29%. That is a massive difference of income tax. Okay, I'm very curious to see how you're gonna explain how this works. <laughs> the reason for such a big difference is that Germany's income tax rate, just like in many other countries as well, is progressive and not linear. However, whatever progressive means is often disregarded. All right, so here on this graph, we see I've already drawn the x-axis with the taxable income in Germany, and on the y-axis, the tax rate in Germany that could apply depending on your income. Now, we already discussed one number, 62,810 euros, from which, which is set by the government, from which the income tax rate of 42% starts to apply. So let's mark here a approximately, let's say here, this is 42%. Now there is a second number that is set by the government that is fixed, increases every year, and that is in 2023, 10,909 euros. And this number means that anything, any taxable income below that is actually tax-free. There is a tax rate of 0%. In German, this is called Grundfreibetrag. Oh, wow, that's super interesting. So if I earn that amount or less, I actually pay zero taxes. Correct. Oh. Now, the progression is interesting and starts in between those two numbers. At 10,910 euros, the income tax rate starts at 14%. And from there on onwards, it just slowly grows until it reaches the 42% at the 62 plus. So the graph that I just drew, in between that range, the income gets taxed between 14 and 42 percent 
more or less every euro has a different tax rate. Now the graph that you're looking at now is called the marginal income tax rate or the Grenzsteuersatz. And this is what is being used to define your personal tax rate. However, it does not define what you are actually paying. And this is where the big difference come into play. Now, if we continue to look at the example from John, we already said that with his taxable income of 75,000 euros, he is paying 28.7% in income tax. So let's mark here the 75,000. And here he's paying 28.7%. Now the average income tax rate that this is based on has a graph that looks approximately like this. Now this is where it becomes spicy because the average income tax rate is actually what you are paying. Okay, that's a lot of graphs that you've shown. So let me see if I got this straight. So from zero to 10,909 euros, there's 0% tax that John pays. Mm -hmm. However, from 10,910 euros until 75,000, there is a progression tax between 14 and 42%. And every euro is taxed at a different rate. More or less. More yes. or less. And it's the average of all of that taxes what actually he pays. Correct. However, you just skipped over one important part. I know which important part. And that is after 62,810 and 75,000, so that leaves 12,190 euros, John pays 42% tax on that. Correct. Okay. So I think I got it. So that means that at some point, the blue line and red line will intersect. Mm -hmm. And that is roughly at well, 600. Like this. More like this. Okay. Sorry. German... Uh... <laughs> efficiency or very precise things. Okay, so they will intersect like this and that's roughly at 600,000 euros and that's where the tax average tax rate will even out at 42%. Correct. Let's clear let's make this even let's make this really really clear. So you have three different tax brackets pretty much that your income falls into. The 0%, the 42% if you earn that much and the one that's in the middle. Mm -hmm. The actual income tax rate that you are paying is the average of all three. And just to make it really clear, the 42%, it's correct, you do pay it, but you only, John, only pays it on every euro that he earns more than 62,810 euros. So like you just said, on the last 12,190 euros. Another way for you to very easily get a feel for what your average tax rate actually is, is not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's gonna give you a ballpark number, is by looking at your last payslip, looking at the wage tax that is listed, and then pretty much calculating the percentage of your wage tax in relation from your gross salary. And that will never ever be at 42% unless you earn or have an income that's higher than 600,000. How do you say wage tax in my pace of how can I find it? Lohnsteuer. Okay. To help you picture this even clearer, let's look at this table. In this table, the first three columns are actually what are important here. The others are just for you if you have more time to look at it. And we're looking at the taxable gross income, the marginal income tax rate, and the average income tax rate. The three figures we just talked about previously. And if we look here again at John's salary, or not salary, sorry, at John's taxable income of 75,000 euros, you can see that the marginal income tax rate is at 42%, rightfully so. However, the average income tax rate, which is what he's paying, is at 28.7%. Let's say John's taxable income is 300,000 euros. The average income tax rate is still only at 38.9%. And only if your taxable income is actually 611,000 euros, that is when the two graphs would intersect and the average income tax rate would be at 42%. Mind you, in this area, we're already at the rich level and the marginal income tax rate would be already at the 45%, the highest tax rate that exists in Germany. Now, all the numbers we just looked at and talked about are always based on a single person. If you're married, you can pretty much just double all the income numbers while still maintaining the same tax rate that we discussed. Okay, so does that mean, let's say you earn 75,000, I earn 75,000, we would still pay the 28.7% of income tax. Correct, because we're two average. people. 
So we have Number twice two. the same tax allowance and everything goes on like that. Okay, that's super interesting. Okay, but now that I think of my pay slip that you mentioned it, I remember when I was employed that I didn't only get charged 28% or whatever. I, there was a lot more money that was missing. That is correct. And this is what adds to the misconception that people believe or it's spread, the word is spread that you get taxed at 42%. As we clarified in this video, that is not correct. However, there are other subtractions from your salary than taxes, than the wage tax in this case. And those are the social contributions, which are a big chunk. However, they're not to be confused as taxes because they serve a completely different purpose. And technically, you also get something back, which for taxes, not really other than infrastructure. But from the social contributions, you get the health insurance, you get unemployment benefits in case you do become unemployed at some point, you get a pension at some point, or you can get that money back in case you leave Germany. And you also have this long-term care um, social contribution, which, you know, when the time comes, you can also benefit from that. Okay, that makes sense, because that's why everyone always says that you should expect to roughly receive 60% of your salary, because it's the wage tax plus the social contributions. And mind you, you don't have here a box that you can tick to opt out from any of them, right? No. And how it works in Germany is that the salary, all these deductions happen before the money hits your bank. Correct. And you only know about them through the payslip. Correct, yes. Circling back to the beginning of this video, when we say that Germany often gets bashed for its high income tax rate, is actually taken out of the whole European landscape. Because if we look at other countries, like the Scandinavian, Spain, Belgium, and a few more, there you actually can find income tax rates that are above 50% that start at similar income amounts that we just discussed in this video. I actually have lived here in Germany for 11 years and I had no idea about this. So thank you so much for clarifying this. I hope it has been simple. I understood it and I hope you understood it too. And if your brain hasn't been fried yet, the next question you should wonder, probably you're wondering, should you file a tax declaration in Germany? And the answer is, it depends. And you can have more information about that on the video here on the left which is talking about tax declarations in Germany. Until next time, tschüss! Whenever you're ready, sweetheart. Whew. Okay. You got this. Let's do this. I'm supposed to say it now, let me explain. I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Oh. <laughs>